Yo, people, welcome back to the fix brought to you by Night the Fix here on New Start 93 Affinity Boy. Now, here with Ari. Big up on our productions. Big up Kevin the Engineer. Right now, people, we have a special guest in the day. Special guest. Really special. Probably in terms of singles sold, records sold, are probably one of the biggest artists we ever have. True. In studio. Mm-hmm. But about Kevin with the people. You know the news. Welcome, Kevin. Because Thank you. <laughs> hey. you know I feel like I need a live studio audience to just to cheer. Woo! Yeah, yeah man. Like Wendy. We'll have you, so. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> but I try to go live, boy, but the internet in the studio kind of against me. Yeah, yeah so that's good. Yeah, oh, it's ready, it's ready. No! It's ready. 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 It's Oh, you see the videos? Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Um, That's up to Kevin. Yeah, yeah. For being all right. Here. Yeah, man. No problem, man. I mean, yo, you know, uh, college days and thing, you know, so we're good. Bring back some memories. Really? Yeah. I mean, I didn't go to UWE, but I did I go to college. I was just about to ask. <laughs> which school? Which college? Um, I went to the Technical College in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, I studied, uh, I did an associate's in electronic engineering. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so I just I love the accent. So yeah. Nice. <laughs> but you know, funny, I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd be the first to admit that for a long time I thought that you were Jamaican. I really thought yeah. that you were. <laughs> I you pre- get that all the time? Get that yeah, I get it all yeah. the time. I appreciate it though, you know, yeah. because, you know, Jamaica is such a great influence on the music yeah. industry in the world. We we're music, claiming you. you know, so. <laughs> If y'all claim me, it's better for my career still. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> the more people claim me, like Major Hype don't want nobody to know who he is. Mm-hmm. Where he from? He just said, everybody claim me. He good. <laughs> you know, so, I'm from I, the Caribbean. I yeah, think, I think yeah. I need to start doing the same thing. But it's time for we unite though, you yeah. know, so yeah. And, I, well, is it safe to say that you are the biggest thing that come out of St. Vincent or is that... Well, I mean, it's safe for you to say that. Yeah. I don't know that I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't like toot my own horn, you know, yeah. I let the people give the credit where the credit is due mm-hmm. or where they feel their credit is due. So, yeah. you know, if you say that, then may take it. Well, this, this interview is really going to be a learning interview for me. So I just yeah. want to know, like, the the sound of St. Vincent, is it, yeah. is it safe to say it's reggae, it's calypso, it's soca, what is it? Well, St. Vincent has always been innovative in the music industry of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, over the years, um, a lot of the the groundbreaking music um, of the Caribbean has come from St. Vincent. Um, uh, If you think about Teaser from Beckett, which was one of the craziest um, soca songs back in the, like, late 80s, Mm -hmm. going into early 90s, or probably even earlier than that, Mm -hmm. but it was huge, you know, he crossed over into Latin America and different parts of the world for the first time in a big way for soca music too. Um, You know, you have people like James E.P. who do Nuki. You know, I don't know if you know that song, I look in a Nuki. Oh yeah, I don't know. You know, know, Problem Child, Skinny Fabulous. (laughs) Um, and before them and before me, yeah. there was bands like Touch and Exodus. But the songs of St. Vincent has always been very, um, crossed between the soca, the reggae and the dancehall. Hence, we have a style of music in St. Vincent called Raga Soca, mm. which you would always hear a different, um, argument. You would hear about groovy soca, but St. Vincent was really the place where soca music was slowed down. Okay. We always slow it down and do the, slow melodies me and on. the turn me yeah. on and the girl you ain't nothing but a teaser mm-hmm. um and you know the 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 song has always been something different i mean when i made turn me on i made it from a song from saint vincent that i liked um with a a, a artist named um primadonna boscom and um a, another one named stonewash daddy and they were doing what we are doing now where they mix a dancehall artist with a singer mm. Mm. you know um and this was even before wayne won down bujo them do bonify love and them kind of mm-hmm. things these guys were doing that because yeah. you know the soca was always being held back soca was not getting the type of attention because it didn't have this crossover song that jamaica has with reggae mm-hmm. and their dancehall mm-hmm. so now we're in this small island we're trying to figure out how to make ourselves um known and respected you know make our music have impact mm-hmm. so we were always trying different formulas and that was one of them and that song i used and yo 
was like, yo, I want the, the rhythm to have that same Zook flair and vibe of Zook and dancehall yeah. and then still the soca and the pop with me singing R and B on it. And yeah. that's how I came to Turn Me On's formula. That song was huge awesome. to borrow from Trump. It was huge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nearly touched number one billboard it was like the, the, the highest it tried was number two well it was number four mm. top 100 it was number one top 40 mm-hmm. in america mm. you know number one top 40 easy I, to get, huh? and i remember when that song oh. come out it dominated mm. like for a full year beyond after like it was just oh yeah Oh yeah, Years. oh yeah it's good and it's bad you know yeah. because uh, you can't get over it everybody want me to sing another one of it but there will never be another of that I, song you, an- you answer my question because i was yeah. wondering like is it a blessing is it a curse what how you feel turn me on <laughs> how you well, categorize turn it, me it's kind of hard for me to judge you know because i've done so well you know mm-hmm. with that song and every time somebody sing it over it's like i get a new hit again mm-hmm. and you know Shout out Chris Brown. Uh, yeah you know and even cheat codes cheat codes version did even bigger than Chris Brown Cheat Code's version is at like um, o- probably over 300 million views on um, Spotify mm. um, I'm not sure where Chris Brown is at I looked on YouTube and that was like at 100 million or somewhere there mm-hmm. you know but I haven't checked the Spotify on that yet but Cheat Code's before that I don't know if you've heard the Cheat Code's version but that's what made them big mm. the the remake of Turn Me On um, they were even performing on Ultra festival in um in miami last weekend so you can you count the the the, the amount of artists that that we make a song or take something on yeah i mean enough is it's enough you know <laughs> i mean cali buds mama sita yeah i have a huge um piece of the publishing on that record you know because the whole tun, 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 you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, so you know, um, yeah, there's quite a few songs. I don't really know all of them because why my publishers take care of everything, mm-hmm. unless the song is like a giant armor song, like it's gonna be with Chris Brown or Cheat Codes mm-hmm. or you know, Kali Buds or somebody. It didn't really, you know, yeah, yeah, it didn't really stick in my brain because at the end of the day, the publishers go out and they pull whatever they need to pull from the respective, um, um, the. The songs that have elements of my music in it. So it's really the publisher or is it like that are the watchdogs. So any 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 yeah. body, any song that sounds remotely similar. Yeah, to yeah, you, yeah. They're yeah. the ones that hey. Yeah, I mean, even the other day, check. somebody in Europe took some Cut the check. took a big like some melodies out to turn me on and did it in a song, and the song was blowing up in like Amsterdam or somewhere like that, mm-hmm. and. I never even heard the song, but mm. it was going big. And my publishers was like, hey, um, just tell us how much you want from it. <laughs> 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 you know, so, I mean, you know, it's good to have publishers to yeah. work for you because when you're a creative, it's mm-hmm. not that easy to keep on top of these things. Mm-hmm. And then you will never sleep. Yeah. You know, because from India, I have a different versions of Turn Me On done to in wow. India, all over the world. So it's, I could see that being an Indian song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first, Bollywood. <laughs> somebody in St. Vincent said that to me when the, first, the song first came out one of the most prominent musicians um, he said that to me it was like when he first approached me he was like yo I like that Chinese Indian song and thing you have on the radio right now <laughs> I was, like, the thing with the song, I was just, wondering if you're trying to insult me no that's the thing with the song it just have a universal type song right like, yeah. it, it and it's one of those songs like you just don't know what to categorize it mm-hmm. as because it's sound dance song it's sound right it's so calypso, so it sounds so ca- like there's so, so many Indian pr- probably sound like Indianish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 oh yeah, the oh yeah, the oh yeah, got them, you know, because the 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 flange and the vocals and the the mm-hmm. intro, the song has a kind of um Oriental slash you know mm-hmm. Indian yeah, yeah. sounding kind of thing to it. What the the creative process, the writing process, the yeah. the musical process for you after turn me on is what mm-hmm. is it more pressure? Is it easy going? Are you like oh, I, I wish I'm I could go, uh, <laughs> <laughs> even when, even before I wrote Turn Me On, it wasn't, uh, uh, it's always, you know, it's always pressure because, you know, the thing is when you, you're, you're creating something from your soul, you know, cause that's what music comes from. You know, you're putting a piece of your soul out there mm-hmm. cause it takes so much of your mental energy to write a song and really to record it takes a lot of physical effort and, mm-hmm. um, determination. You know, because, I mean, when I first recorded Turn Me On, I wasn't the greatest singer. 
you know, I was trying and doing all kinds of things to my voice to figure out what voice I really want to use to find myself. Um, Turn Me On brought that out of me. But, you know, when the writing process comes down to it, you're always nervous to know if somebody would like something. Yeah. If you write something, you bring it to any individual, you're like, you know, you're nervous to expose yourself like mm. that because it's a part of your inner being that you know your your personal thoughts about life and everything that happened around you that you put together in a piece of poetry mm. and you're presenting it to other people to judge mm. you know so you're kind of opening yourself to judgment so it's always somewhat um you know n- nerve-wracking to do it but i mean for me i'm not sure about everybody else different people may have different opinions but for me it's always that way yeah yeah i always say that artists and people who do music it kind of difficult in other side. I've got through so many emotions that are up down, depression, yeah. happiness. It's it's a lot. Like, have you ever faced any of those sort of yeah, emotions? Yeah, man. I mean, I'm human. You know, mm-hmm. you, you have that. If you can't write songs, you have to have emotions. You have to cry. You have to feel. You know, you have mm-hmm. to lose and you have to win. You know, all these things are what make songs great. Yes, so you, you feel like several different emotions. Yeah, uh, but. How do you feel when people like try to slap on the one hit one attack on it? Because I see some people do that too. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, if you if you if you're successful, you know, people will have all kind of things to say. Mm-hmm. If they don't have nothing to say, then yeah, I don't think you're doing that well. When you're doing good and you're making waves and stuff, you know, people their their own insecurities cause them to want to lash out at you. Because who are you to be doing better than me? You know, in their opinion, you know, they should have it and not you. And they, you know, a lot of people who are like that, who say things like that, they don't even, they don't even understand what it is to sit down and write a song and how much it takes. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, they can't walk a mile in my shoe. You know, mm-hmm. um, every human being is different. Um, you know, I can't walk in your shoe. Likewise, I can't walk in your shoe. You probably have problems. Don't you have yeah, you see what I say? <laughs> so, um, it, it, you know, I try not to judge. I mm-hmm. try not to even focus on them kind of things because, I mean, you can call me a one hit wonder, but my one hit, my one hit. You make it eat for life, eh? <laughs> no, but not even just that. My one hit is equivalent to probably 10 hits for some of the biggest artists mm. around the world. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, because bigger artists go and do over my record, mm-hmm. you know, and when they do that, it's like I have another hit again. Mm-hmm. You know, so, I mean, you, a lot of people just not educated about the, the, the industry of music and don't know and don't look to know. They don't look to really ask questions for themselves. They listen to what everybody else brings to them. And, you know, that's a culture that has to change, particularly in our communities in the world from Africa to the Caribbean. You know, it's amongst our culture because we are so quick to judge each other and attack each other um, because of what, um, you know, slavery has done to mm. us. Mm. You know, it has left us with a mentality that, you know, when one man come out of the, the barrel, you know, everybody else trying to pull him back in and they're not proud to see him strive and keep going. They want to pull him back down there and make him feel like him, him on the same level with them still, mm. you know, which in a while, if you keep him up there and push him, one of these days he might be in a position to pull you up too. True. I know. And St. Vincent is a small place. Did yeah. you experience like that? Like that type of Yeah, man. Or, yeah, or man. All like? the time. All the time. Mm. You know, they say me don't represent the country properly. Mm. Me don't call St. Vincent name enough. You know, they, they say all kind of things, man. But You still live there? Uh, yeah, okay. I still have a home there. I don't live there, but yeah. I go there at least twice a year. I have a restaurant in St. Vincent, okay. which is like one of the top restaurants in the city. We mm-hmm. actually just got written up in the Liat magazine. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, um, you know, I do things for my country. I give back. I have a charity called the Janice Little Foundation for Heart Disease. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I give back to, to, to the island in ways to help with, um, anything that basically has to do with medical needs and with education mm. you know um the genesis is really a mom yes yeah, that's her. my mom's yeah. name you know mm-hmm. so she died of heart disease so right. you know it was appropriate for me to do something like that in in her name just so her name doesn't just fall you know because when my mom died you know mm. they couldn't find space in the anglican church to fit people wow. in. you can never satisfy people enough and when it, um what was it that just crossed my mind 
You know, um, you, according to Bob Marley, your very own. You can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't, can't please all the people all the time. Yeah. You know, I yeah. went out yeah. there. <laughs> I put Vinci flags in the video. I put, I, I have on a shirt that have a Vinci flag on it. And the one moment that you don't say Vinci or say St. Vincent, that's the one moment they would use mm. to turn it into all the time. Mm. So you see, that's why you, you, you have to grow thick skin and you have to know what to observe yeah. and what not to observe. True. Yeah. So we'll talk about Chris Brown mm. sampling the big and turn me on questions. Yeah. yeah. But funny enough, locally it was being mostly um reported that it sampled Egyptian holy. Yeah. Um, we listen to the song and say, we know you heard sample. That, that <laughs> we hear <Kevin> <laughs> I mean, we listen to that song like 10 <laughs> times trying yeah. to figure out which Where's one. Egyptian? But I hear the whole deal but then I'm saying, but oh, that you had to It's kind of hard to go from let me hold you, girl, me want to hold you. They kind of they're kind of very similar, yeah. but not in the same melody, almost, but kind of close. Mm. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, I mean. Did you see that as well? Like, right here. I, I heard the similarities, you know, but because the song has so much of Turn Me On mm. in it, it's difficult to. Pinpoint it. Yeah. yeah, to really just say, yo. <laughs> you know. Can you report this Egyptian I, eat, I am eat not, a money out, eat a food off? Uh, no, me, no, no, no. Life is a mistake me, in food. Me, me, have not, <laughs> me have nothing to say about that. That, that is Egyptian <laughs> business. I'll leave a Egyptian that. <laughs> me know me get my things, so me nice. Yes. You know? <laughs> me eat now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Egyptian, my brethren, you know. Mind you put me in trouble with them. I'm in them country too. <laughs> right <laughs> but what's your relationship like now with with local dance and arts like i know you had a good relationship of course with spraga i'm sure oh yeah that's my boy man <laughs> yeah yo big up the whole of dunkirk and the you know the red square red square <laughs> big up red square you know spraga little brother bula you know come check me the other night as soon as milan mm. come meet me and try help me out and think because i couldn't get my get Checked in nowhere. My book places and all of a sudden we go check in the place them and they say, No, it's, it's not Easter. <laughs> it's not available. <laughs> I don't know how you book this. It's not available. Wow. I go around like three, four times before I actually find one. Wow. You know, but um, you know, big up the whole the whole Red Square family. Um I don't know if Assassin's still a part of the square, but big up Assassin, you know. Um um Briggy Benz and you know, the whole family man. Yeah, yeah. But your uh, your relationship now with, with It's still tight, man. Yeah. Spraga, you know, Spraga. Not just Spraga, but just the whole industry. Yeah, yeah, with the whole industry, the dance hall industry, yeah. my relationship has always been good, you know. Mm -hmm. Um I can remember from in the days when I first came to Jamaica and you know, meet people like um like Wayne Marshall, you know, who embraced me big. Um you know, um, the whole of the Alliance crew, you know, I, I, I remember meeting Vibes Cartel, you know, um, along with, um, with, with Bling Dog and, and Bounty by, um, Burke's office, you know, um, and now like Elephant Man, me and Elephant Man and Beanie Man get out, um, nominated for, for awards together. And, you know, um, Beanie bring me for the birthday party. You know, big up Vegas who vex with me become a come beanie party and me didn't call him when we come to Jamaica. I think until this day he vex with me. Vegas but I'm a friend every, still. Every damn day. I'm a friend Vegas. still. I'm a friend still, man. I love Vegas every still, you know. <laughs> Everybody say, hey, hey, you look, you favor Vegas, son of a bitch. No, I don't see that resemblance quite there. Uh. Might need to cut myself in my face like a bit, but still. You know, my brethren. Um, shout out my other brethren, Elephant Man. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a tune together dropping next week. Huh. We're about to try shoot a video, some clips for it. Um, uh, yeah, man. Yo, it bad like 10,000 leg out the jungle 10 times. Yeah, man. <laughs> wicked, wicked, That's wicked. That's what you say. I recently signed a new, like a big record deal with Sony. Yeah. Like yeah. Sony Music. Yeah, I'm with Ultra and, um, I'm also doing, um, uh, a, a, a deal with, um, with Spinning in Europe for a project we have coming with one of their big artists called The Boy Next Door. Mm. I have a Afrobeat sounding kind of crossover dance-ish kind of record coming with him. He always gets the big song every summer. So they're really focusing on this record to be his big song this year also. Mm. Um, and you know, with Ultra, we did slow motion last year. Um, 
We are about to work on an EP for Vinci Carnival, um, which is going to include some surprises. The song with Elephant Man, um, featuring also Mika Ben, who is actually the person that, um, that, um, presented the project to me and, um, asked me to get other artists on it. And, yeah. you know, at the time, me and Elephant Man did just kick it off and then say, Ellie, yo, check this out. I would love to have you on it because you need that Jamaica vibe to it. So it ended up being a Vinci, a Jamaican and a Haitian. So you get the whole vibes of the, the Caribbean thing, the dance, it's like the so kind of. It's remind me of like early 2000s, mid 2000s type vibe. Yeah, yeah. and then, then he's singing part of the chorus in Haitian, in, in, um, Creole. Mm. So it's, it's an exciting record for y'all to hear. I mean, I've been playing it for everybody and they're just going nuts about it. Um, I might get Kess on the remix, hopefully. Kess you know. the band? Kess himself. I don't know if the whole band. I mean, if I can get the whole band on the remix, but I might get Kess. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can afford the whole band, but I, <laughs> I am yeah, you know, You're right, <laughs> right, right. And yo, me just, Texas. me just in the studio with Sean Nizzle, you know, um, uh, and yo, we have something incredible coming because we have a big rhythm coming and me on it, you know, we have, um, Christopher Martin, the Marco have a killer tune on it. Mm. Um, yo, who else was on it? Uh, the, the other name, I can't remember now. Yo, but yo, the man of the man, you know, Sean Nizzle, yeah, Sean Nizzle shizzle <laughs> <laughs> and sizzle. <laughs> so it's safe to say like, yeah, you, you think you, 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 your experience are resurgence because it's your first like major DS site since the one with Atlantic and the back turn here. Well, no, you know, um, I was signed with Universal. It was an international deal in Japan, mm. but you know, I've done work with lots of other labels, um, where I've done licensing with them and stuff like that. Um, the thing is now is between, um, 2016 and now I have been making more of an effort to start recording with a lot of people because that's something that I missed out on a lot in the very beginning of my career. Um, and it really affected me because of issues with management and just being young and not knowing the game and not having any experience, mm. you know, and being put in a position where, you know, you're just, you're just not knowing exactly what what is the right effort to make you know because i i just blew up big you know i blew up big one time and um I i'm was, sure you were in you were, were well describe us a little weren't you in the industry for a little while and then you found that it or was it just no immediate? you know i was i was in the industry in saint vincent mm -hmm. and saint vincent don't have an industry mm -hmm. like here where you can literally get information get mentors like that like you know you know the caribbean is hard you know you can't find a next man who big and walk up to him and say yo um how you do this and this and this and mm -hmm. that and that and god I, I watch you like yo behave yourself no man ask me too much questions mm -hmm. you know um and in those days it was even worse you mm -hmm. know um yeah. and so i had to I had to find out things for myself. The first thing I did when I, when I, when I started in the industry, I was singing people's songs yeah, and covers. yeah, covers mm. and stuff, live performances on stage and people liked my voice. But then I led astray and started chanting dance hall and stuff like that too. And then finally we come back at it and tried the singing again and did the dance hall with it. So me they turned me on and something else mm -hmm. and the two of them walk. You know, the, 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 the song was, the, the, the kind of, I was singing a kind of shaggy style of voice. I'm big up shaggy, you know, he's another artist I'm very cool with, you know, me and him have a song we did some years back too. And yo, such a cool artist to work mm. with, you know, um, and yo, you know, I, I, I basically just, did that record, the singing voice and did the, the, the one with the voice like shaggy and the one with the singing voice just went nuts because my voice was so unique. And yeah. the song was like, whoa, you know, so I, I at the time and I didn't. There's only one Shaggy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and that's the thing. That's the thing. You can't. I, I learned very early mm. that imitation is no recommendation. I mm. think they say that here too, you know, that you can't imitate. If you notice, most people who sing over people records all the time, they don't really have mm. a long career or a career. Yeah. They just cover artists mm -hmm. and. You know, you go, oh, the voice sound good, they say. But when you have a unique something, mm. 
you, then you can become a star. You, you stand see out. Mariah Carey, you see Shaggy, you mm-hmm. see Kevin Little. There's so much knowledge that's needed to be acquired for the music business itself. And if we don't help each other, you know, we'll find that a lot of the artists them come up and they end up broke and mm. they get robbed. You know, their music is lost in the the whole um, noise. You know, it's lost in the noise. You know, um, there's so much music coming out too. You know, I find that a lot of times too that you know the artists them just kill the airwaves with music they need to start being a little more conservative mm. I don't mind you recording and going in and recording a hundred songs and things but don't put out all 100 mm. you need to sit down and have focus groups and pick songs and you know you can't put it all out there because sooner or later the people get tired of you you know because you can't keep hearing the same thing all the time or the same voice all the time the same style all the time mm. you know people won't, will move to something else and that's how music is it moves in waves so you True. have to be very cautious it's all about qu- quality not quantity mm. You know, and the Caribbean have this culture where we deal with quantity because they feel that they have to just t- dash a million song one time mm-hmm. and one must stick. Yeah. But then that's what a focus group is for. Dash the million at a focus group. And, and then they're going to tell you one, which one will stick. One. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Anybody who can speak to that is you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that was, is that what you do now? Like, that's what you do? Like, you, you have... Focus you say, listen to this, listen to that. That's yeah, but that's what I always do. Like. That's what I've always done. You know, it's important that you have people around you that are not. Even yes. we turn me on. That's what you did. Yeah, I mean, wow. when we, we the the thing is that we didn't have like a giant focus group. It was yeah. like my first hit. I, 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 you know, I went and I recorded. I picked two songs. The the people around me said, yo, you know, let me hear some of your ideas and. I, I sang the two ideas to them. I mm-hmm. sang Turn Me On, sang, the, sang a few other things. And they said, yo, I like this one and this one. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I will record those. We record those while playing in the studio. You have band members coming in and out the studio. Everybody recording, everybody listening, listening to everybody's thing. And, yo, the talk coming out of the studio. Kevin Little have a big song. Mm-hmm. You know? So you knew then? Yeah. Wow. So you see, that's that in those days, that's how it was done. But now you don't even have to do that. You have your social media. Mm. You could form groups of people, all kind of how now, and LinkedIn, and all them kind of things, and just start out your thing, you yeah. know? And communication is so easy these days. You can gather a group of people and say, yo, I need you to come sit down with me, have some drinks with me, and listen to my music. And let me see... So that's how you know that the song that you have with um Elephant Man is going to be a hit or is oh, yeah. a hit already oh, yeah. because that is a hit. focus group. That is a big hit. That okay. is a big tune. <laughs> a big tune. <laughs> Shit the man nether. <laughs> oh my head. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Big up my brethren, <laughs> Ellie, you know. I'm a, I'm a boy, you know. I'm a boy. Yo, Ellie, you need to link me in a brethren. We need to start out things. <laughs> what things? You need to start out the song? And yeah, man, we have to start out the video and thing. Oh, okay. You know. okay. Yeah, you yeah. planning on shooting his hair? Yeah, we're planning on shooting some scenes here because Ellie is here now mm-hmm. and we want to make sure we get Ellie's parts in okay. now, you know, because then we have to go Haiti with me, car. Then we have to go Vinci with me. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. So are you here for the so um, season are you going to partake in the festival well i'm not here for the whole season i'm leaving on either saturday night or sunday morning okay. because i have the zumba cruise to perform for mm-hmm. coming up on sunday into the week next week mm-hmm. so i have to get on the boat on sunday in miami okay well and if i leave here on sunday i'll have to take all my bags that i come out of Jamaica with and walk with them one time or uh, if i leave on saturday i can get to go change and yeah. change out clothes and everything okay. so you know, it's kind of ticklish. We don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> Still sorting that out. But are you here all the time for, for Soka? Or no, you know, or like... this is just on one... This is the first time in years. Yeah. Um, And th- that was a point I was trying to make that, you know, I've never really gotten to do this because my stuff became so big one time. And I was in this position where people around me were saying, yo, you don't want to go back in the Caribbean and do this and do that and have them hire you like this and like that. And, you know, and mm. had me in some, some weird type limbo. of limbo <laughs> and thing. And it, it got kind of really difficult for me because now a lot of things happened too with my team. But in those days, I made people think that Kevin Little was stuck up and, you know, not friendly and don't, um, and my rider is this big long thing and yo, so, 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 it, uh, so the people in my pre-morning get big it and, and go live a fine when I say it. So. Yeah, you see? 
<laughs> and, and that's the kind of thing that's switch. <laughs> that's switch. That's what I'm going to do. Yo, it's not easy, you know, when mm. you're popular. But, you know, the, at the end of the day, I'm here. And, yo, I went last year to Trinidad and recorded some songs. I have a surprise for my EP coming on the um, planner rhythm. The same rhythm with Nyla Blackman, Baila, Mami, Mami. Mm-hmm. I have a big song on that rhythm, too. Okay. We're going to revive the rhythm with that one. I drop it in Vinci on the EP. And then the song for Ellie. And then may have a wicked record with Shifter. You guys know a shifter? Yeah. yeah. Have a wicked record with shifter coming too, man, called So Seductive. So, yo, tunes are bus. 2018. Yeah, man, and right now, turn a, turn a, turn a, your skin smoother than a teen, a turn a, me like it when you turn a, turn a, turn a, to your turn and a pot and a burn a, me like it when you turn a, and twist, wine a me, in nine days, can me like it when you turn a, turn a, turn a, yeah, yeah man, yeah. you didn't hear me do the cartel part in it, really? me do a part for cartel in the song, so you know get cartel for that <laughs> Yo, you want me to go break in a prison? I don't know. <laughs> people on, on collab with Carter. I don't know how you, you, you would do it, but just, you can just do it. Just find an old song that was recorded years ago before prison. Yeah. Me, me do a Carter part. Girl, your smile is the brightest. You see me big long gun, you go like this. Like a miracle, heal me arthritis. Digging you like an archaeologist. So that song, so that part was meant for him? Yeah, it's meant for Carter, but yo, me can't reach Carter, buddy. <laughs> I figure out, uh, that's one question me have no I'll figure out how to get a collaboration with him, you know, because mm. yeah, he's one of one of my favorite dancehall artists. I think that cartel um changed the face of dancehall, you know, mm. and him still have some of his minions. Them still knocking the place to have the you similar can't call style. Them minions, call them stands. <laughs> 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 Came and warned you about the stands them out there. Minions. They were going to be on your side fans. and they were going to say, wait, you call me a minion? Uh, no, I'm not, not, me not call no names. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we were vexed. Yeah, man, but the voice, you know, the cartel style, the way that he, you know, like he, he, did, he did this thing where he said, I don't know how I do it. I just do it like John and I do it like Kobe. I do it like, I'm like, yo, what? How the hell this man come up, just come up with them? Because he, you know, I mean, dancehall is a thing where you, you, you kind of sing in tune because it's melodies and thing. But the yeah. way that he does his thing is so unique. Mm. He really sits down and puts a lot of thought mm. into what he does. And that's something that I really appreciate with his music, you know? Mm. And even when he go back and he bring in the pig, like now the yellow, illipi, silipi, willipi and all them thing inside. <laughs> Say, what? Yo, that is so smart. Yeah. You know, because he makes, he makes Crazy. the Caribbean mm-hmm. people feel like they're a part of the thing. From the young to the very old could relate to his thing because he's putting in things that, you know, colloquial, mm-hmm. extremely Maybe old colloquial. People like, uh, you know, old people are like, no. No, but no, even, no, even, even yeah, 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 Pig Latin, Gypsy. I didn't want him go. I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go. I I I I <laughs> Give it till July. His appeal is going. It's yes. the team is ready. The team is yeah. preparing. Well, let me, 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 me jump on the team yeah. and put in my appeal. <laughs> <laughs> appeal for collaboration, man. <laughs> right? Kevin, are you on Instagram, man? Yeah, 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 man. At Kevin Little on Instagram, but please don't spell my name with an I. You will never find me. It's K E V I N. But then when it come to the little, it's not Stuart Little. <laughs> Little, it's L Y T T L E. Because everybody mm. have different. It's everybody spell it L I T T L E. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, most people, you know. Because, even me, me don't wonder what's it. What is the right one? Because you see it with an I, see it with a Y. L Y. A lot, a lot of people when I first came out was like, "Oh, so is your real name?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, know you thought I was Lil Wayne, <laughs> Lil Lil Mo, Lil no, Lil Kim. No people spell it R U P P E. Rupee. Why you trying? Why you trying? Why you trying? To... That's what the that's what mistake is for YouTube. YouTube. They always mistake the two. And I, I was like, just like, on your song and a rupee song and all like, them. All they need to watch my complexion straight. <laughs> you see me, see me right? Oh all gosh. right. Are you cool with Rupee though? Yeah, man, we're okay. cool, man. You know, we're cool. Yeah. Okay. And on that note... Thanks again, Kevin Little. Yes. Passing through. 
Let's be by Kevin Little. It's the fix. Yeah, we